early MRI scan of your back can actually make things worse. So you bent over to pick something off the ground or you lifted up a heavy weight and now you feel like you can barely move. You've got searing pain in your back and in your leg. So something must be wrong, right? Surely an MRI scan to check there's nothing wrong um, and what's going on is what you need to put your mind at ease and kind of get you on the road to recovery. Well, hang on a sec before you do that. Before you ring the doctor and plead for an MRI scan on your back, watch the rest of this video as you might change your mind by the end. First things first, are there times when an MRI is absolutely necessary and when you should be seeking one out? Well, actually, yeah, if you've had back pain and you've got significant weakness and pain in your legs with altered sensation and function of your bladder and bowel, um, then you might have a condition called Corda Aquinas Syndrome. This is a condition that does need an urgent MRI, and I've linked a Corda Aquinas Syndrome link in the description of the video that goes into more details about the exact symptoms you might feel and want to be looking out for that you might need to seek urgent attention for if you have them. Other than this, unless there are medical concerns of a fracture, like those with osteoporosis, or infection, like after surgery, or if you feel really unwell in yourself and have fever-like symptoms, then it's not really necessary. But okay, I hear what you're saying. You're saying, sure, I mean, that's all fine and everything, and maybe I don't need an MRI scan, but what's the harm in having it done? Surely by getting it done, it will help me to know that there's nothing wrong, give me a better treatment outcome, as well as a better outcome in general. Well, this is just completely wrong. A study done in 2021 looked at the recovery timeframes in people with acute back pain who had an early scan versus those who didn't, and found that those who had an early scan actually had longer recovery times and worse work absence. Yep, that's right, longer recovery. So let me say that again in no uncertain terms. Studies show that your outcome will likely be worse if you have an early scan than if you do not have a scan. But hang on a sec, why is this? Why might this be? Many people who have scans will get told that they have some findings on the MRI scan. These are often quite incidental. In fact, in countless studies looking at pain, they find increasing incidence of disc bulges, disc degeneration, facet joint issues, which increase as you get older, and these are perfectly normal and not associated with pain. All these studies are in a pain-free individual. What this shows is there are lots of these findings that just things that happen as you age and could be described as wrinkles of the spine. However, like some, if you get told that you have a disc bulge, not knowing that this is quite a normal in someone of your age, you might begin to worry and, and have anxiety, and this can lead to negative behaviors and fear, which often leads to worse outcomes. So should you have an MRI on your back? Well, my advice would be to go and see a good physio or healthcare professional who can assess your symptoms and come to a decision about whether there is any need for it. I would not advise to jump too quickly into it unless you have someone you trust giving you the results and understand that back pain has way more to it than just what it says on an MRI scan. If you want an in-depth explanation of the unknown causes of back pain and how you can fix them so you can actually make long-term progress and manage your back pain, then click the video here. This video is an absolute game changer.